Denver Pride Fest is this weekend, and the theme this year, 50 Years of Pride. Denver 7's Micah Smith sat down with the CEO of the Center on Colfax and other key players in bringing pride to Denver five decades ago. Courage comes in many forms. Courage comes from the heart. Courage comes from actions in the world. It's 50 years since the first time that Denver had a pride celebration. I feel like there's so much with that. With 50 years as much as it's been a fight the entire time. And the fight for pride began long before the first celebration, culminating in a political showdown in October 1973 in Denver. It was a really scary time for a lot of activists in this movement. Um, there were no laws protecting somebody, say, from being fired for being gay. Gay bars were raided by police and shut down, and the, the people who were there were arrested for lewd behavior. In 1973, a group of activists staged a protest at Denver City Council to get some of those laws changed, and they really were able to demonstrate that those arrests and that harassment was primarily aimed at uh, gay men. In Denver, the uh, first Pride was in 1974 in June. It was what they called a gay in. It was at Cheeseman Park, and it was really a picnic in the park, but soon that started to grow and it became a parade within a couple of years. The first parade that occurred was 1976 and the first permit was pulled by Christopher Sloan who's also a drag queen in town that goes by the name Christy Lane. There was a theatrical group in town called the Toby Foundation. At a Toby meeting somebody said how come we don't have a parade like they have in New York? I don't know well I'll go see if we can find one. So I wandered down to the um, office of the city manager. We got the permit. They started planning a community center. They started planning Pride. And they were working in tandem with communities of LGBTQ people across the country. Pride was the party. Pride was being out and proud. I'm sad to say that in the 80s, it really started to decline, partly because um, so many people were losing their lives from AIDS and HIV. So on the 20th anniversary of Stonewall in 1989, it was probably about 100 people who rallied on the west steps of the Capitol, and that was pretty much it. So 1990 is when the center started producing Pride, and um, we had about 10,000 people march in the parade um, that first year, and it's continued to grow ever since. The 90s saw Don't Ask, Don't Tell, banning openly gay service people from military service. In 2010, the policy was repealed, and in 2015, the U.S. Supreme Court legalized gay marriage right around Pride Time in Denver Civic Center Park. It's the first time that we had worked with Lonnie Hanson, who's a Denver artist who's done works all around the world, but he created a 24-foot tall wedding cake in the center of the park. It was the week after that year's Pride celebration that the Supreme Court decision came out. Lonnie had a premonition, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 2020 brought challenges for Pride worldwide during the COVID-19 pandemic. Really grateful for some very creative people, especially some at Denver 7, who helped us create a virtual Pride parade. And 2021 saw the birth of Denver's first Black Pride celebration. I think one of the, the big reasons why Black Pride Colorado came to be was that I could see the struggle of folks of color within mainstream pride. And that is not to take away what Denver Pride has done. I feel like there's always room, right? Like there always needs to be room for other voices, trans, non-binary, you know, asexual, like all of the identities. A push toward more inclusion. I think there's always a chance to be more inclusive and to look at ourselves and, and find out how we can include more, more groups of folks. And even more. Pride victories. A few years ago, I remember being at the corner of Colfax and Broadway because you can look up the hill and see the parade start to come over the hill by the state capitol. And there's just thousands and thousands of people and as many rainbows as you can possibly come up with. And it just started coming up over that hill. And one of the volunteers came up next to me and she was looking at that and just kind of said, wow, and she turned to me and she had tears in her eyes and said, look at what we can do. The success of Pride isn't the function of one person or one small group of people. It's the function of generations of people coming together to create a space for themselves. Micah Smith, Denver 7.
Christopher Sloan, the man who secured the first permit for the Denver Pride Parade and Festival back in 1976, will be the Grand Marshal of this year's parade. Tomorrow at 4, we are celebrating 50 years of Denver Pride. We've partnered with the Center on Colfax to mark the anniversary of Denver Pride Fest, and we're dedicating 30 minutes to look back on the progress made in our LGBTQ community and looking ahead at what work still needs to be done. Join us tomorrow afternoon at 4 on Denver 7.